Hello Polygoners, I am Shaft, you're watching a Polygon Gaming Daily Cast. Today we've actually got a game that's going to show you, like, not only the new maps and some of the features and some of the things that you can use and abuse to your advantage depending on what race you are, but also, this is going to be an exemplar of how to defend drops as a Zerg player. So, without any further ado, Let's go and introduce these players because you're on the top left hand side of Interlooper Ladder Edition. He is Rival Gaming's favorite Terran. It's Cuddle Bear. And on the bottom right hand side of that map, going for a fast hatch build, he is sticking on gas after the metabolic boost. It's none other than Gem Rising. And he's got these cool little uh, spindly zergling, like. I don't know, the like spindly little drones, they're so cool, and look at their eyes, dude, look at those eyes. I wish I could get closer, but they're so friggin' creepy. Anyways, uh, this game is going to be um, a little bit of a technology-based game for Jim Rising, who typically is a player who likes to play with a heavy um, get, uh, like uh, economy, so see him go for the faster gas, and staying on the uh, gas here after a spawning pool is very very interesting i'm not sure if this is a uh, typical of the current meta or if it's just a stylistic thing for jim we've got some nice little micro here by cuddle bear a player definitely known for his micro jim rising trying to zone out this reaper with his queens bringing these lings up here to uh, guard this area and of course cuddle bear are just trying to be a little bit of annoying and delay this third not realizing that jim rising is going for the technology based play as again evidenced by this extractor and uh yeah this game looking very standard. We've got this command center coming out, um, looking like a 2-1-1 with the stem pack. Going to be starting that starport here shortly. And yeah, we've got this uh, this Reaper doing a good job hiding between this gas and the uh, little doodads here. It makes it harder for the links to you know get us around there, but. Great micro here by Gem Rising, going to block off that Reaper up against the Queen. Couldn't escape this path because of this Queen here. And uh, that is going to be the end of the scouting for that Reaper, around 4 minutes. We do have Pneumatized Carapace actually coming out for Gem Rising, which isn't very typical of someone who's going for a faster Mutalisk build. So we should be anticipating something like maybe Hydralisks or, or even a Roach Ravager type attack, though we're not seeing the, the Roach Warren just yet. We do have the Evolution Chamber. And uh, this is going to be a third base. We're here around four minutes. Pneumatized Carapace coming into effect. He is going to scout that this is definitely a 2 1 1 setup here. And Jim Rising, definitely the type of player that can react with the perfect response given the correct information. He has that information now, so let's see exactly how he chooses to react. Going to be flooding out some lings. This is, of course, necessary because he is at max saturation for his chosen gas count and gonna be going and knocking this rock tower on down going to provide a little bit of defense from like hellion run bys or even you know a stem push straight through that northern passage there so all he's gonna have to deal with is this little area here and this as well this can also be pretty annoying space like with uh with with drops but not too worried about that just yet it seems and we've got the layer coming a little bit later than we maybe would have expected, but the pneumatized ter carapace definitely worth that first hundred gas after metabolic boost. We've got the second extractor here, um, and that's going to be the third one total. Second one on this base, that is, but not quite immediately saturating that. Does have that third base saturation, and as you can see, the worker count around completely even for both these players third base and production for cuddle bear so both the players going for a three base kind of macro style but the drops are going to be starting here with this typical 2 one one timing at the third taking out the first queen but does lose four marines in that attack like i said this can be an annoying little airspace it causes the zerg to have to run all the way around or zone particularly well with the queens which we are seeing out of gem rising now he has split his lings up so he's got enough lings there to buffer for some of the queens but the first queen does fall leaving a little bit of an opening down here but not something cuddle bear is choosing to take advantage of just yet meanwhile this little drop ship taking out this overlord and looks like the harassment has ended for this particular moment in the game. We see the Hydralisk Den has started here at the natural. An interesting place to put all of your tech, considering how easily it is to get a dropship in here. But with this being the fourth base taken by Jim Rising, he should be able to shut that down at this passage here. 
and we do see some amazing creep spread by Jim. So this is going to be a really easy uh, four base cluster to defend. Um, however, having this fourth base and trying to defend it over here does expose drop vulnerabilities here on the third base location. He's got lings and banelings there in position, and he's a little bit ahead on the army supply. But with three drop ships, he's got to be super careful. No. Um, run buys or anything which uh, looks like cuddle bear would be ready for gem rising choosing to stay more on his side of the map and just expand expand that creep spread rather english not working for me today spilling out into the ocean floor in the and again poking in trying to kill off some of the creep that's really the main goal of the 211 right now is to just limit the creep spread of the zerg notice he is offloading here at the edge of the creep and we may be seeing a scan yep there we go seeing the scan there now but the debris getting knocked out and cuddle bear not picking up immediately here is going to lose a lot of the marines and is now about 10 army supply behind his opponent which is a pretty big deal now we are seeing the carapace before Four melee so we're gonna see uh plus two carapace plus one melee this is definitely gonna be an ultralisk build out of gem rising so the two two upgrades are going to be a little bit ahead for our terran which is not typical at this stage in the game against a more traditional ling bangling muta type player but uh gem rising going to be going for the faster ultralisk we'll see if um Cuddle Bear knows to get the tanks when he sees to like start massing tanks and uh, how that ends up working out for him. But this is a very um, anti-air heavy style, so drops do tend to get split up um, and shut down as long as your hydralists are, you know, again split up. And really the Hydras are specifically there to target the Medivacs, whereas the Lings and the Banelings will deal with the Marines once the Medivacs have been eliminated or pushed away. And all of this is really just to trade and keep the army count down for the Terran while Ultralisks finish. If the Zerg didn't try to trade here, especially for technological units like the tanks, which you know already are coming out, then the Terran could hit a death ball army before ultralists really come out this is not a trade that is meant to kill the Terran as you can see Jim rising very quick to retreat and keep as many of these hydralists alive as possible does have some coming in from the side not the best usage there tries to stutter step a little bit eventually just going to run and retreat because again the goal here is to keep as many hydralists alive to supplement the ultras when they do uh come out but he did trade pretty effectively there has killed one tank five marauders 59 marines and a swath of the medevacs but of course some of the medevacs are going to be continuing to drop as you can see these army counts very 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 similar when that attack started it was around 100 army supply for gem rising so again just trying to shut this down to buy time for well we've got adrenal glands plus three carapace plus two melee attacks definitely going to be seeing the ultralists coming out very shortly he's just got to buy enough time um from the drops from any kind of death ball push uh to get out chitinous plating and the infestors definitely useful once the ultralists come out they can hold the marines in place as well as the marauders with the fungal growth because kiting ultralists is the easiest way to shut them down and cuddle bear a player known for his micro definitely would be able to kite something like that also a huge number of siege tanks on the field so while they are targeting the ultras the hydros should be able to shut those down with the different ranges of these units it is much much better than something like a roach ravager type play because those units clump up together and can get eliminated by the same tank follies lings of course very fast they're going to take the first barrage ultralist is going to come in after that and there's still hydralis left in the rear uh, and of course the infestors even behind that so it's actually a really nice composition here out of a gym rising we'll see if this catches on in the meta or if this is again just a stylistic thing some great drops here by cuddle bear he's trying to keep the trading up but he just does not realize that this is going to be an ultralisk play just yet he's got enough tanks but 
still underestimating the power of the Ultralisk. Those are some giant roaches, man. Like, seriously, look at these things and tell me they don't look like super big roaches. That, like, you know, the type of roaches you'd find on your cabinet, not like the type of roaches that are inside of StarCraft. Here, infuriating. Now, we do have a lot of tanks here. They are making very short work of the Ultralisks, but the Hydralisks behind are able to DPS down some of these tanks and keep the uh, Ultralisks from completely getting decimated. Some good splitting by Gem Rising, keeping the Ultralisks from clumping up, and that means the shutting down this base entirely. And, well, of course, you know, throw one. Throw one Ultralisk at your opponent, see what all is hiding here, but he did get most of his Hydralisk army back onto the creep. I'm going to shut down this drop, maybe get a good fungal growth, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. But Lings and Ultra is going to force the pickup from behind either way. And this single Ultralisk doing a lot of damage and only just now getting cleaned up, providing an opportunity for this other Ultralisk to be coming in from the southern attacking point with Investor Hydralisk reinforcements and gonna catch the SCVs rallying and uh, pulling off the SCVs to try and surround this Ultralisk. Does kill the Ultralisk with the support of those SCVs, but at the cost of each and every SCV. But for the last probably three, four minutes, um, Jim Rising's just had a huge, huge worker lead, sticking at the 75 worker count for the longest time the drops never actually getting that many uh many kills only one worker has been killed by cuddle bear and that is going to culminate in the gg being called jim rising taking an easy victory against a very difficult opponent cuddle bear definitely one of the best north american players out there at the current moment who isn't recognized as a professional player three uh infantry weapons plus two um infantry armor plus one vehicle attack still could not shut down a plus two plus three ultralisk hydra combo very very awesome here by gem rising showing why creep spread is super important when it comes to shutting down drops even allowing you to expand on different sides of your own base as opposed to moving along one side of the map as i typically teach gem rising just showing how powerful creep spread is how to shut down 211 drops which aim to shut down creep spread as well as get into your worker count and showing how to use Hydralisks in this matchup. GG guys, thank you so much for watching. I am Shaft with Polygon Gaming. If you like this content, please and thank you for smashing that like button on this video, the subscribe button on this video as well, for uh, clicking the bell icon that will tell you when we upload new videos, as well as for visiting our Patreon. Remember, $1 donation can start earning you Patreon rewards. More information in the link in the description. Thank you so much, guys. See you next time. Chatelet, my dudes. If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.